All right, so we're up here at the farm for 4th of July. We're gonna do a scouting trip, hopefully for a future two-wheeled rider, ADV ride. Mario over here is on my 1290. I'm gonna take out his 1290 and we'll uh, see what I think of it. And then uh, tomorrow we'll do a separate video. What's up? What's up? You're ruining my video. Oh, sorry. Bye. <laughs> Luke's been hammering some laps out here on his 85, doing the B loop. Uh, but I uh, never really rode the adventure bike out of here. So tomorrow we're going to go on. We got dad mode over here. We got two wheeled rider. Going to steal his bike and ride into town. At least it doesn't have a fob. A lot of fun up here on the farm, eating some good food, watching all the kids ride bikes. Definitely uh, slimmer, lower. Feels like a little baby bike after the 1290. So it's weird. So at first, sitting on it felt really weird. It felt tiny. But then once you get on the pegs, it feels way more like a dirt bike. You can definitely see moving way faster on this on some off-road portions gravel portions than my 1290. It's crazy. And it still has some pickup. So Tyler was riding it earlier and he immediately was like, I need one of these and uh, I can see why. I think for the more technical or gravel sections, it'd be way faster than the 1290. Mario did put a little pressure on me. His uh, nice camera he does all his filming in is right on my uh, tail pack. Uh, so maybe he did that just so I didn't get uh, too wild on his bike. So just on this gravel road, the suspension definitely feels a little bit more harsh than my 1290, not as plush, but felt better on the off-road stuff. You got these little mirrors on here that are kind of nice. I don't like my big dorky mirrors on mine. It's a dial here on the pavement and it uh, feels a little bit more smoother. Be curious too to see what Mario thinks of uh, the 1290R. I know he's ridden one and done an awesome review on it, but I think it'll help too because he can kind of talk about some of the setup, maybe some things I can improve on my bike. The throttle is instant too. We're super lucky. Fourth of July here is normally a lot hotter, but we're uh, cruising around some 75 degree days. So cannot beat that for a Fourth of July weekend. I don't know, sometimes it's just nice having a bike that doesn't have all the bells and whistles, no crappy key fob. Just a pure fun bike and you can get why uh, these 990s are pretty sought after. I mean this thing's fun on the road. It was fun on the little bit of off-road I did. I think this is always the hardest part about like choosing a bike like once again, I chose that 1290 because it can kind of do everything and still love it. But I think there's always that if you got the budget or the garage space, it's pretty cool having a, a little bit smaller bike that you can outfit more off-road and then have the 1290 or a different bike for kind of your cross-country touring. So in an ideal situation, it's pretty cool being able to play with different bikes. And I think anytime you get to ride a different bike other than your own, squirrel hold on that view no but makes it a little bit more fun uh, you know that's why we got into this just riding different bikes is is cool and these west virginia roads sure make it better yeah so i am six foot three i can definitely feel a little tighter in the cockpit but i love how nimble it is it just feels much more narrow 
and you can really throw it around a lot more than that 1290 you can feel that it's a little bit lighter you really can dive into the corners so I know this is a random video so summarizing up just a couple suggestions try different bikes even older ones because sometimes it's pretty cool to buy a used bike save a little money Let's see what he wants me to do here where are we headed Take a All right. and so I guess my point is definitely try out different bikes even older ones and find the bike that's right for you and the type of riding that you're doing because I'm having uh, a lot of fun on this bike I could definitely see a niche for this kind of especially if I'm doing more off-road style riding I always gotta like a place with a cruise through liquor store quick stop in here at the liquor store we're gonna run up and get gas so we're fueled up for tomorrow uh, but it was pretty cool testing out that 990 for a quick bit definitely suggest riding your friends bikes if you want to waste all your money and buy another one <laughs> oh, I think now Tyler's taking it out in his cool attire there oh, it feels like home looking forward to tomorrow's ADV ride definitely tune into that video and I appreciate you tuning in and I'll catch you all next time